We are less than an hour away from ringing in the new year. It's a party downtown at First Night Raleigh where everyone's waiting for the main event. CBS 17's Galat Malavin is live just ahead of the acorn drop. So, Galat, how is it down there? Angela, it really feels like New Year's. Happy New Year's Eve. Now, it's not fully jam packed, but people are continuing to file in here to City Plaza. You see, the acorn is high up above right now, but it's not going to be there for long. To continue the tradition. The tradition of ringing in the new year at first night rolling. Seeing. To see the, to see the acorn drop, of course. Three, two, one. Don't worry, you didn't miss it. That's the 7 p.m. acorn drop for kids, a tradition for the White family. We're happy to be able to do some of the things we did before the pandemic in years past. Uh, I don't think we've missed an acorn drop except for last, last year. So yeah, it was a big, it was a big change. Some changes to this year's celebration: proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test was required for attractions like Ferris wheel, and to enter City Plaza for performances and the acorn drop. An atmosphere missing in 2020. Just seeing people having a good time. Just knowing that 2022 is going to be brought in right. And get a chance to get together and celebrate again. Thousands are ringing in the new year on Fayetteville Street as the state records a record number of COVID-19 cases for the second day in a row. Masks were encouraged, but not required. People we spoke with say the move to a fully outdoor event this year made them feel more comfortable. We got our masks in our pockets, um, so in case when we go indoors anywhere, but we'll stay, keep our social distance outside and be safe. We wanted to come early to avoid some of the crowds and, and uh, wear masks and all that. While people have different favorite parts about first night. Probably the food, because there's a large, large variety of food here. Ferris room and kind of seeing the parade. Everyone is sharing the same message. Happy New Year! 22. If you're thinking about coming down here still, you won't need a ticket up to Davie Street, but to come in here to City Plaza, you'll need one. They're $16. Now, as for parking, you can park on the street if you find a spot or pay for a garage or parking lot. Now, of course, with every passing second, it's getting closer to the grand finale. We'll be checking back in with you shortly. Live in Raleigh, Gulam Alamed, CBS 17 News.